most Tesla stock analysts now say to buy Tesla stock. Can you believe us? This day I thought would not come in a long time, but the data does not lie. What you see in the green is the analyst saying buy, the yellowish color is hold, and the red says sell. So this is great news for us Tesla stock investors. The mainstream is seemingly catching on to what's going on with Tesla stock. However, I know that Tesla stock still is incredibly undervalued. I will tell you why in just a moment. But of the 49 analysts following the electric vehicle maker, 27 or about 55% recommend buying the stock according to Bloomberg data that you just saw above, which is the highest it's been since 2015 basically when Tesla was just a tiny company compared to where it is today um so we see these trends from some of those analysts not all of them but a lot of them for example um Deutsche Bank uh analyst is saying Tesla has not seen demand softening yet now if you look at the backlog the backlog of orders is coming down but also production is increasing and uh, what Deutsche Bank analysts is saying here and even if a company eventually starts seeing softer demand due to pressure on the consumer it is best positioned to make price adjustments as necessary he wrote in other words there's no demand problem here um, another interesting thing however that I would like to point out uh, right here, which is why you should be careful when you read news, when you watch videos also, you gotta think for yourself. So see here, it says Tesla shares are down 27% this year, despite the latest rally compared with a 21% decline in the S&P 500. Now, I do not understand from, like, it says this year, all right? So let me pull up Tesla stock. Where do you see 27%? Year to date, I see 37%, not 27%. And for a moment, I thought, oh, maybe they mean not year to date. Maybe they mean last 12 months. Well, I do this one, and then it's minus 4%. And then I'm starting to think, because I just briefly, quickly read it the first time, and I was thinking maybe they mean like quarter something to do with like last 30 60 90 days maybe that's what they mean um and then i look at s p 500 which they also said it's down um uh 20 22 percent 21 percent down 21 percent and yes we see here almost basically 21 percent year to date so i know they definitely mean year to date but i guess um they meant <laughs> uh they they must have meant 37 percent not 27 but even if you round the numbers okay so see this is this is how bad mainstreaming can be or if you don't think for yourself and if you don't check the details so even if it was 30 let's say 27 percent okay but there's dot six Three. So you should round it to 28% then, so there's two mistakes. One, instead of saying 37%, you said 27 and even then, you did not round the number up, uh, which, you know, when it comes to finance, reporting finance, that's, you, you gotta pay attention to detail, so pay attention when you listen to mainstream, which is why I barely do that. You gotta be careful. So whoever wrote this and said that various distractions related to its outspoken chief executive Elon Musk is hurting Tesla stock was definitely distracted writing this piece right here. Now we know for sure that analysts definitely have some influence on the stock. If all the analysts are saying it is going to go up. That does put pressure on the stock to go up and vice versa. If everyone is saying sell, 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 that does put pressure on the stock as well. However, even though right now most analysts believe that the stock is going to go up, 50% of them in fact, and then a large number say hold, and then only a smaller number say sell, when you compare the numbers to how many people are saying to buy it, most of them are not considering robotaxis or full cell driving seriously. So even, think about how good the stock is then. The biggest 
part of owning Tesla stock right now, the biggest benefit, I believe, and you tell me if you disagree or agree in the comment below, is full self-driving. That's the main reason to own Tesla stock right now. That's something that we can figure out now. Tesla is going to then, in my mind, that is very clear. Just like when I bought the stock in 2019, um, I believe there's no way Tesla is going to go bankrupt. They can sell all the vehicles that they want and it, it will do better. It will be fine. And then the stock dropped something like 40%, 50% right after I bought it a few months later and then we all know what happened so right now i feel it's the exact same moment the mainstream has figured out basically tesla is making money that's why analysts are giving those good buy ratings because tesla is profitable look at this this is tesla's net income from 2010 to 2022 and uh, these are by quarter so if you see the middle one that's each quarter but i like to look at trailing 12 months this gives you a better idea just smoothens everything out so we can understand better exactly what is going on so when we look at that we see that the growth is spectacular and then we overlay that trailing 12 months profitability with analysts ratings right here we would see basically a direct correlation with net profits improving and analysts saying buy tesla stock and admittedly that is why i got into tesla stock initially as well because look at here at this part right here in the middle chart no longer the top chart then i bought tesla stock so there was first one quarter that was profitable then another quarter that was profitable and then in early 2019 i started thinking huh they will make money they will pay off all the debt the risk is risk of bankruptcy is now basically in my mind at least at that time was completely eliminated and that's one of the biggest reasons why i bought tesla stock i didn't see the risk for bankruptcy anymore before then i was concerned i was concerned no profits yet i, I don't see profits too risky for me i'm a pretty conservative investor by the way before i went all in into tesla stock i just had s p 500 and nothing else so i'm pretty conservative when it comes to that regard i don't like losing money i hate it i don't want to lose mo any money i follow two rules from warren buffett number one is don't lose money number two is do not lose money number three is remember the first two rules i modified <laughs> those rules just a little bit but that's that's the point uh, right there so analysts are seeing this and they are happy what they are seeing and q4 of this year is going to be even better so we will see that trailing 12 months keep increasing i believe and this is all still without full self-driving so imagine what the stock is going to do again later when full self-driving is going to be solved so i'm not even talking about the tesla bot i'm not even really talking about Tesla energy. All of those have so much potential, just each one of those by itself, especially the Tesla bot. And then <laughs> there's other things on top of that. We got a charging network as well. That's basically like owning, imagine owning all of the gas stations in most of the world. That's, that's exactly what Tesla could achieve eventually. Owning a big market share of that. That's crazy. Such a big business just by itself. So right now, with mainstream starting to change their mind about Tesla stock, there is quite a bit of pressure for the stock to start going up, but they don't see the biggest point about Tesla stock, which is full self-driving. And of course, Tesla AI day, Tesla bot, there has been one good reaction of actual analyst uh, to AI day. This is what most analysts are basically doing this is not steve stephen mark ryan by the way right there uh i'll just play the clip and you will see for yourself um i don't think there's there's anywhere in my spreadsheet to um to put any of these things so um i'm just gonna ignore them because tesla's just a car company uh unfortunately that clip is very very true that's most people's reaction to tesla but there's nowhere to put it in the spreadsheet for most analysts because they're just projecting six to 12 months out. Whereas we retail investors, 
we project 10, 20 years out. We try to at least. Of course, there are many reasons to own Tesla stock. I made a video, 48 reasons to own Tesla stock. Click on that right now. My name is Matt Posius, and I will see you right there. Thank you so much for watching.